the aerospace industry in general is growing at a breakneck speed. And in order to achieve that growth, we've got to be able to bring new products to, to market. We're trying to develop processes and methods that are applicable across a broad range of parts, such that we can accelerate additive manufacturing adoption. There may be part-specific tweaks, of course, but we're working towards having that baseline uh, core technology applied everywhere. We're working on sensors, uh, fuel nozzles, heat exchangers, um, as well as heated pipes and complex housings. I think we're going to rapidly accelerate our parts into production over the next few years. And we're really able to see the benefits of additive for um, complex internal channels, multiple piece parts assemblies. That's where we're investing our, our time and energy. But even looking beyond that in the future is being able to look at maybe printing sensors or being able to print some of our heaters directly into our struts and kind of therefore pushing the envelope of uh, design and performance. Directed energy deposition or hybrid uh, added manufacturing are going to be just another step in our journey towards uh, incorporating additive into our everyday production environment. We're working in, in Poland, in India, in Italy, in France, and the UK, as well as multiple states across um, America. But one of the tools that, that we're using at the COE is, is a 3D scanner. It's an ATOS GOM triple scanner. Um, so this is a, like a blue light scanner. So using structured light, you're able to recreate a part that you would otherwise need a print or some tribal knowledge to, uh, to develop. Now we're focusing a lot more on physics-based modeling, so um, taking thermodynamics into account and trying to predict what the outcome of our manufacturing process will be. I think the sky is the limit with additive design and manufacturing. It's evolving very quickly and it's going to change the industry in the new industrial revolution. It's pretty exciting to be on the forefront of one of the newest and most capable manufacturing techniques we've ever seen.